You're live with the command center JW Solo USA right in my garage. I'm trying to do a video on how am I going to uh, configure my batteries LEV 60 cell module which uh, made in Japan. So this is the box. The cabinets end up um, getting from my favorite store. So if we look at the measurements right here um the height is approximately seven inch almost seven inches and uh here is the width it's about 24 inches by 42 inches long Okay, the width and the height right there. So let's open up this box and see and here are the batteries. So before we get into it, I'm gonna just able to open up these batteries. And by the way, these batteries came from battery hookup. The come shout out to Ryan Ryan is a great awesome man when it comes to helping people a battery hookup and likewise the rest of the team but I'm dealing with Ryan mostly all the time here goes the batteries I have some of them uh, inside and uh, inside the box right here here we go very set up some of them trying to lay out the configuration how it's gonna look like um, in the case and I'm planning to make um, Cast put casting wheels in this box to make it um, movable or really accessible. The other side I can able to utilize by putting some disconnect switches here, and I can add a lock into this latch so that I can able to keep this box and close. And you can see it has. In here's where you can mount it on the wall it's all over and screw it hang it then it has some studs standing here I can able to cut them off or I can just put a plywood if I have to put a plywood it might be I was thinking about this it will heat the brim or the top of this panel and which probably gonna cause a arc on the top lead. It depends how we're gonna do it. Maybe at the top I'll end up putting something which is uh, like a card or maybe a plywood. It's not even a half inch. Then we can able to suspend it from this height and we can lay more batteries in. So now you've seen set of these batteries and supposed to be 16 to make it a 48 volt so if we decide to go right now we have starting from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 cells to make one 48 volt module so if we look at it this way, we don't have to get them clustered or get them all packed like this. We have to put some um, things in your spacers, which I ordered online, but none doing that is coming from China. Yellow one, so we can put your, to give the batteries not to touch each other. I think the is a safety thing so that we can able to, you know, like being art when pulling too much juice there's a potential these uh, um, 
material they put here like a vinyl thing to uh, cause more heat they become conductive and all of a sudden it's gonna get this battery all arced it's just like one solid battery so if you look at this so right now we're sitting at 26 inches so let's count four more cells that's gonna be sitting here to see if it's gonna fit right here to give us the 16 uh, cells. So let's take from this side here and measure how much is that. The way they are packed together right now is approximately nine inches if we use four cells. So if we go with this, so we sit in very close to here. See that? We have more room here. And I'm looking at the best way to fit batteries in here. Maybe about uh, two strings of uh, uh, two strings. It's going to be a 16S 2P. So that's what I'm trying to do to create a space right here and trying to isolate these guys right here. Trying to put like a board so that they can heat these batteries. It's going to be a stop by having one here at the extreme end in the middle and right there you put a little flat board in the sense it's gonna look like something of this nature is by wood gonna be uh, sitting in between to help the batteries not to jam up all the way or push behind those um, bolts not to hurt the batteries we create a thing so that it can be swivel back and forth. So we're looking at this by adding these batteries in here and um, another cell. Okay, excuse me guys. I think I have to turn the fan on in here. It's getting hot. It's like we are almost 88 to 90 degrees here in Minnesota today. And um, kind of a little bit cool cool off and um, continuing doing this we switch this and get this one and the next one is gonna be a positive as soon as they come they now continue with this project um, these spacers can put in between so now we gotta switch this to this so these are all the 16 cells sitting right here right now in this enclosure I think it's beautiful and I think it's really powerful I can able to put my BMS I can able to do my wiring and I can able to put my disconnect breakers and all the good stuff um, you want for this box or I want for this box so this is what it is so add more cells in here or maybe we can change the configuration we can throw 6 is a 16 we can 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we can move this cell to here, right? We move that one to here. So the series continues, it continues, and we can use this other one to that. See how much left? So we're making progress and moving this guy back here to this and bring this other guy to that and this guy to this and two more to go this guy to here 
one more to go, and this guy to here. Tell me what you think. I think this is very, very um, neat and nice. We can able to put more cells. Make sure we angle them correctly. And we have space on the corner right here. We can able to put like a, um, a cardboard or something harder like a um, lumber, which should be on that corner. And if we happen to use the tape and measure, measure this is going to just be a 17 and a half inch long. See, 17 and a half. See that? So if we do that, so we can create another one here. All the way here. Look at the end of the box. So we have 17. We have all this plenty of space right here. Okay. So 17 and a half is right there. 17 and a half where my finger is right here from this battery. And look at that space back there. So we can fit another battery in this compartment. It makes two batteries. And I believe from this point where this metal is so another 16 inches here so if you put this one here it's almost 17 so from this tab to this oh 18 see that it's 18 inches here so if we get 17 to fit in between this spot right here there we go so we can fit another set of that in between here which is one row is going to fit in here and we're going to fit another row because look at this one where this one stop okay we can fit another row here so it's about three 16 s3p we can able to um mimic here because if i decide to go this way we have space see that So let me just create something here, a crazy uh, formula, and uh, so that you can see my point. So let's assume this is all one battery here. Exclude. Let's exclude this. This one is in part part of it. I took one cell right from here. Okay, I took one cell. Okay, to, just to fix the confusion, this is how it's gonna look like, okay? Let's borrow one cell from here and set it up right here. So we already have another Eight cells gonna sit from there to here. See that? So if we go like this, it's 17, and it's gonna go another 17 because the stud is on the corner right there. See that? Uh, bolt is on the way. So if we put it from here to here, we have 17. We already have eight cells right here. We just continue back. With another eight cells right here, we already created a 16S3P configuration in this box, respectively. What do you guys think? Put your suggestion on the link below or on the, your comments. Put your comments below and uh, you see what I'm trying to do right here. And put almost so 16 times 3. That will be 48 cells going to fill inside this box. That will be really, really nice uh, having the wheels on it. So just take this one from this side all the way back here is one module. And we take another one from here and all the way here is another module. So that's another 16. So we add 
8 from this side to stay away from this stud and be behind that stud right there to protect not to hit the battery and we continue another 8 right here that give us like a 3 modules in here so that we're going to be 48 cells so 16 times 3 it gives you that so we sit in this thing and put casting wheels into that thing I think we are ready to rock and roll and I can able depend how we want to set this thing cut this plate right here you know put our disconnect cut this other place right here maybe put a battery monitor or we use a Victron wireless thing or we cut right here to put our fan so that can have a cooling system we can put a grill mesh right here from this side to take air this one this fan is pulling the air up so we can able to put this box vertical now this box can able to stand up straight vertical see it can be vertical and the batteries are all leaning towards we can able to put them on the wall you see they can able to be straight on the wall without any uh, obstruction it can be straight on the wall vertical so they're leaning towards down we just have to put a board right here that's gonna be all the way spacer all the way high so these batteries cannot trip and it stays there on the back here we can able to do look at this space we have here we can do cable management all the way on the side and all for the parallel links or put up boss bars tell me what you think and uh, leave your comments like and subscribe live for the command center in minnesota jw solo usa thanks for watching love you guys all and stay tuned for more to come